Okay, so this is the story about how I found out my cousin was sleeping with her 15-year-old brother. And she's also pregnant. Now I get that you probably wondering, how the fuck that shit go unnoticed? Hey y'all, welcome back to All Things Jenny. Now this is this crazy one. She says that she found out that her 29-year-old cousin was messing with her brother. So, and her brother is 15 years old. But my question is, whose brother? Is it the cousin's brother or your brother? Because then it won't be as bad, which is still very, very, very bad. Because if you're 29, what do you find in a 15-year-old man or boy? Because that's not a man, it's a boy. But we're going to find out who the brother is. Because then if the cousin is messing with her own brother, it's even worse. But if she's messing with your brother which means their cousin, it's still bad because it's really incest. It's really just a lot, a lot. And Haiti, goat family, it's, it, it, does, it doesn't make sense, but it's, it's a thing, it's a thing because people don't do that. But if, yeah, let's get into the story. Let's just get into the story and I'll see you at the end of the story. Okay, so this is the story about how I found out my cousin was sleeping with her 15 year old brother. And she's also pregnant. Now I get that you're probably wondering, how the fuck that shit go unnoticed? Now since January, there has been some speculation that Gabby has been very close to her little brother for uh, some weird ass reason. Like, bitch, be fucking for real. They kept trying to play like they were just brother and sister and made it seem like nobody was really recognizing what the fuck was going on. Down to the point where they made their brother seem fucking crazy and delusional now people are probably wondering like where's the parents how did nobody catch on to this shit oh no motherfuckers was catching on but these motherfuckers smooth motherfucking criminals now this shit is outlandish to the point where even her kids seen that the shit was weird and she tried to make her own kids seem crazy and delusional now this is my first cousin so i did sit her down and i told her yo cut this shit is a little outlandish. I ain't gonna off rip just blame you for fucking your little brother until I see concrete proof. And bitch, just wait. There's more. Cause lo and behold. Now in between the course of time, CPS has been involved. Police has been involved. There's been a thorough investigation. Bitch can't be trusted around her kids without supervision. It's a lot of shit going and I was just put on not too long ago into the fact that this motherfucker is video proof and all this extra shit. See, I ain't even think this shit was going too far like that. Keep it. Once I found out all that, I was like, yeah, bitch, you gotta, um, gotta go under the jail. Cause what? No, we not. We not doing that, mama. We're. So, you know me. I'm gonna use my platform. For what the fuck I got it for. Wait, did I back to kiss it? We gonna start kissing. Now that we're all up to speed as to what's really going on and there's actually proof of her doing this, her ass is grass. Just, I'm, I'm just saying, there's there's no way that she can avoid any sort of worse pro, uh, prosecution or anything like that. Excuse me for stuttering at the moment of time, but I'm so motherfucking flabbergasted. First cousin, guys. Like, this is somebody I grew up with. Like, I've known this girl for 15 years of my life. Like, I've, I've, like, sleepovers, everything, like, the whole big cousin thing, like, favorite big cousin. This is one of those fucking scenarios. So imagine how the fuck I feel finding out that the bitch I know my damn near my whole life is a fucking pedophile. Like, share, comment, subscribe for part two. Now, after seeing that picture, don't come for me <laughs> don't you come for me but i have to say they look a little slow like a little delayed the cousin the older cousin which is 29 looks like she took full advantage 
of this young man. And they do look a bit delay, I have to say. Okay, don't y'all come for me in the comment section because if you're all the way there in your head, how do you do that to your own brother? He's 15. How do you stomach doing that to your own brother? He's 15. And the way they're checking that picture, they look like they're real comfortable with each other too. <laughs> Whoosh, 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 my head hurts. This is, this is disturbing. This is disturbing on all levels. I, I don't even know how I'm stomaching this video, just watching this damn video. Okay, so we solved the issue. So her cousin is sleeping with her very own brother. So imagine me having a brother who's 15 years old. I... God forbid, was sleeping with my 15 year old brother. Oh gosh, I can't, I can't even think of, I can't even say it with a straight face. And then got pregnant. How do you sleep with your 15 year old brother and then risk the risk getting pregnant? First of all, why are you sleeping with your own? It's really bad out here. It's really bad out here. This is very sad. So she did the unthinkable with her own brother who is only 15 and she is pregnant. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, part two, the update. So thanks to the collaborative work of everyone who came along, which I wanna say thank you, we was able to find out where they like to hang out, spots that they be, and places that people usually find them. We also had a hacker hack into some devices and find out some other good information. With that being said, we were able to find out exactly where they were. Well, we didn't know exactly where they were, but we figured, we from Jersey, so we can figure where they might be and we drove down there if y'all know where the waterfront is in jersey city new jersey yeah we drove that way so as we're driving we just know me and my cousin we conversating yo it would be crazy if we see their asses right now in between exchange place and montgomery street we see them at the light as we're about to pull off because it's green my cousin is about to pull up on the curve, and I ain't give him no time. I smooth hop the fuck out, because I see them holding hands. So I woke up, hop out. What the fuck is this? What y'all got going on? Not a shock in this bitch face at all, first off. I'm not gonna lie. Not at all. She wasn't surprised whatsoever. So I'm like, come on, Jafar, right? Let's go. You out. You feel me? She says, we not doing this, and started to push me to the side you feel me i grabs her so i can grab him she swung on me i dipped pulled these miska mouse tools out and bibbity bopped her ass that was it i left her ass leaking and stinking where she had me fucked up at and then we got his ass in the car proceeded to bring him to the police that was waiting at his mother house where he had a conversation with several individuals and actually told the entire story Prior to this, he wasn't even speaking and didn't even fuck with us. So, I say it when. Chief of police came out, prosecutors already heard everything, and this bitch got a warrant and is a wanted morning. She's wanted. Thank you, everybody, for your help and your cooperation and all the shares and everything that you guys did. I do appreciate it. You guys helped my family in a big way just for helping us make the exposure bigger. And now my city actually knows what type of bitch she is, and I very much appreciate it. So, like, share comment if you guys want more story times about other shit and positive shit i'm laughing because at the end of the day you have to laugh but this is a serious story this is something serious because this young man this boy is only 15 years old and you as his sister who lives in the house with him most likely you are 29 and you took advantage of this young man. I mean, at this point, to me, you took advantage because you are old enough and you should know better. This young man, wh where are the parents? Where are the parents of this 15-year-old boy? And I understand, like, you have a 29-year-old daughter in the house who could take care of the, par the children, you know, a 15-year-old boy when you are at work or something like that. But... I'm assuming that you think that your daughter would know better to not do that to her own brother, but what? This is crazy. And you hear this all the time. And usually it's like from men, the man would do that. You don't think of the woman would do, I mean, yes, 
it's very possible that they could do that. No one is above this, but you don't really hear that. At least I don't really hear that situation going on like that. And just to hear the story, it's it's funny in a way how she's explaining the story, but at the end of the day, it's a serious matter. And this happens a lot. It happens in the black community. I, like I said, I can only speak for the black, black community because that's my community, right? It happens in a black community. And a lot of the time, the children are not, they don't, they don't believe them. They, people don't believe what they're saying. So therefore, it continues to happen. And I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you if the worlds were reversed and the young lady got pregnant, it would be hush hush. You know, it would be like it would be so hush that no one would actually know that that child is her brother's. The mom would protect her like the, he would put she would protect him so much that you would you wouldn't even know that this baby is pregnant by her own brother. Until maybe when the children are a lot older, then they finally find out the family secret, and that's the family secret. But because it's in that situation, that woman, that lady, should know better because, for one, our brain mature quicker, sooner than men. That is the reason why you'll see, like, a young, uh, like, a, a girl, a little girl, is a lot smarter even though she's maybe a year or two younger than her brother, she would be a lot smarter. She would be a lot, you know, she'll have the, she'll have the mental capacity to do certain stuff over the boy because boys mature later than girls. So therefore, like, you know, they expect you to know better. And at 29, doing that to your own brother, that is crazy. That is insane. Like, how do you even think about doing something like that to your very own brothers have you been watching him have you been watching him i have so many questions i have so many questions because i'm glad i thank this young lady for putting that out there like that because i can guarantee you that this would have been a secret even though nowadays like I say that if it was the girl they would keep that as a secret but i think it's also embarrassing and depending on the family they might also keep this a secret because <sighs> what so he is uncle daddy basically he's basically uncle daddy because he is going to be the child's uncle and also the father of the child <laughs> this is sick this is so sick bro this is sick the community is sick people are sick and they need help this is sick you know how like Queen Elizabeth married her cousin? I don't know, maybe I'm sick too. Hell, because I can understand that. Because they wanted to keep the money. <laughs> they wanted to keep the money in the family. And if you grew up around that time, it's okay. As the Queen of England, she did that. You know, to her, it was like at least she's getting something out of it, a, a big something, you know? But for you to do that, it's, it's not even okay now. It's just, it's just weird, cringy. Ew, I can't even think of, ew. Ew, think about my own cousin like that. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. We need help, guys. We need help. We need help. And you're going to be surprised how many stories are like this. How many people in your family that are hiding similar stories? It's only now that people are actually coming out, the young, you know, the Gen Zs, the millennials, they're tired of all that. So they're coming out because they're tired of family lying or keeping secrets like that, you know, so people are speaking out. But there are people who have that bloodlines of that in their family, generations of children who come out of situations like this in their family, but they don't talk. A lot of those people are in the church, too. And they know, they know, but they won't say anything because of the name. They don't want to mess up the name of the family. They don't want to embarrass themselves in front of, you know, the members of the church, Samari, Sister Mary at the church, or Uncle Peter. Or, but the whole time Uncle Peter is doing the unthinkable to the children and we don't talk. Anyways, guys, I'm done ranting about this because to me, this is just terrible. I, ooh, ooh, have a nice day. Have